Hi, it's Kelly Wilson at Misinformation. I'm going to show you how to upload your own artwork and create custom images with your Cricut. So first I start with PicMonkey and I went in and custom sized my um, project to 24 by 1500. 300 pixels equals an inch. And I uploaded Beauty and the Beast font from defont.com. If you go to my uh, web post, you will get links to all of these. Then I typed in what I wanted to print on my makeup bag or cut out a vinyl, wake up and makeup. And then using PicMonkey, you can take it and size it by dragging. Or you can go over and use the slider that they have on their tools um, and just adjust it that way to make sure it fits. So now that I know I have the right size for my project, I am going to go and crop this image using the tools in PitMonkey just to get rid of the extra white background before I upload it into my Cricut Design Space um, custom image. And you can just drag the edges over or by the corner to crop it. Now I'm going to save my project to my computer so I can upload it into my Cricut. Now here's how to upload your artwork into Cricut Design Space. So open a new mat and click Upload Images. Upload your image from your desktop that you just made. This is a simple image with just two colors, so I'm going to choose Simple Image. Then you just click on all the white space to get rid of it because all you want the Cricut to cut is the letters. This will make what's called a vector image and will take out all of the white background space. And you literally just click inside the letters to get all of that out. It's very intuitive and does a lot of the work for you, so it's super easy to do. Then I'm going to save it as a cut image because I want it to cut it out of vinyl. Then it's going to add it. Let me add it straight onto my Cricut Design Space virtual mat. I'm going to drag it up and adjust the size, check the size so that it will fit on your project. You can see there's a grid there. My project was 5 by 8 or 8 inches wide by 5 inches tall, so I sized it to make sure it would fit. Then I wanted to change the color to the gold that it's going to be, so you can go right over there to layers. Just click on it and change it to gold. You don't have to do that, but I like to visualize what I'm doing. Then hit go. Now it's ready to load, and here's how you do the rest.